with another video. Today in this vid, we're gonna be doing future pickups I wanna get, things I wanna buy. So as you guys can see, it's a different type of camera angle. I'm trying something else. I got my PC up, I got my spreadsheet out, and I'm just gonna like go through it, see what I have, and I'll put a picture on one of these sides, and then I'll show you guys a spreadsheet. If you guys want the spreadsheet, I might link in the below. It's not a panda haul. Spreadsheets, I think it's like real things I would like want to buy in the future. It's just like I have a spreadsheet of like the things I want to like buy that I like, you know what I mean? Because you know, it's never too bad to have a spreadsheet. So, let's get this started off with, um, I don't know how to pronounce it. There's like this swallowtail denim. It's gonna be, it's gonna be over one of these bits. But as you guys can tell, it has like, like it has a nice little design on it, right? And like, I don't know, they're like baggy, and it's like a, it's like a heart around like the crotch area, as you guys can tell. And like, they're like my Spider-Man pants, and I love them, and I feel like, I feel like I could pull them off. They're like probably as baggy as the my Spider-Man's pants, but the problem is that they're a little uh, hefty of a price. As you know, retail is $209, and you know, your boy broke right now. Your boy got no money. Your boy just got a car. Your boy, your boy broke as hell. He got no money. He poor. I'm literally, quite literally broke when mad. Like, I quite literally fit the description. The next thing are these, like, Japanese denim that I want. It was like a package of two. And it comes with packaging, I'll show you up here. But yeah, I've watched the, I saw these from my boy on, on YouTube, I drew Joiner. I saw these pants, I love them. He goes into depth detail with it, but like I saw them and I saw the material and I research on Japanese Venom and they're so nice. Like, they're so beautiful. Like, it, they just look, they look like real denim. Like, they're just, oh my God, perfect. But, Wait, they do have my size. Oh shit. I think. I don't know, whatever. But it was a package too. I couldn't find the individual one. So the package is like about, what is it? That's a 370 pounds. That's probably like 370 US dollars too, right? I don't know. But I think so, right? But yeah. Um, the next thing is just this plain. It's like plain, this 550 GSM plain black hoodie, like a crop black hoodie. Um, I have black hoodies, but I don't really have any like plain black hoodies. If that also crop too, that like fit right at my waist. And this is just one I came across. I was looking on my Instagram feed or whatever. And I saw it, I fucked with it, saw reviews. I was like, I need to get this. It looks so nice. And it's $60 for 550 GSM. That's cheap, $60. That shit means it's quality, quality. And I might buy that soon, honestly. It's only $60, to be honest. That's pretty cheap. Um, oh. It's like these like Okay. Yo yo yo. This one more like alright. There's like this fallen corpse hoodie. It has like a skull. It's like a skull. I'll show you one picture. Like I like the skull and there's that little pop of purple. Like just that one little and then with the cross. Oh, I really fuck with it. And it's on low heads as I said. And you know, Loha is like the underground brands that like they go on there and they try to sell stuff. It only retails for seventy dollars. I was like scrolling on Loha heads and I came across it, and I was like, I need to get this. This shit's hard as fuck. And it looks, it. I don't think. I think it's. I don't think it. It looks a little cropped, but I'm not sure. And I don't think it is either. But yeah. So this is definitely gonna be a, a soon pickup. Definitely gonna pick us up soon. I just got my money up, as you guys know, kind of poor. Um, next, oh, your picture's coming out too. Uh, next 
one is another thing from Little Heads. Um, you be you you well, Sally, but they have a variety I want. It was like, like what is that? It's like a black and blue, and there's another one in pink and brown. I'll try to put them both up here. Really the same thing, both for forty dollars. I was still scrolling on Little Heads. I saw it. I was like, this shit hard, but look at it, it's a, someone with a guitar, that's his right, like, that shit goes hard, tell me not, I can, I could, you know how many fits I could make with that, that shit would go hella hard, like, no, no doubt, and then, fucky slippers i just like the slippers because they look cool as you guys can tell it looks like it's like furry inside and everything they're only 45 bucks and they say fuck you like i just think that's pretty funny i feel like if i bought that my parents would laugh because that shit it's just so dumb like who would put fuck you on on fucking slippers and sell them right like what are the odds i'm still gonna buy them i might buy these soon because you know you know, imagine wearing them to school <laughs> everyone be like what do your slides say Fuck you. That shit would be hilarious. Oh my god. Um, Alright, then there's like these other pretty... Y'all might hate, but I want the triple S, triple S Balenciagas. Y'all, 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 y'all fucking hate them. I bet you all hate them, but I want them. They're just fire as fuck for no reasons. I also want the light up ones. I don't know. <coughs> Everyone clown on because that's a chunky shoe, but like one of my friends had them in a way, the triple S's, and they're so hard. Like I want the black pair, but the 1500. And I don't know if I can drop 1500 on a pair of shoes. And that's insane. The, the panda ball, the panda buy haul might come in soon. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do a panda haul video. That's what I'm gonna do. That's one of my first things I need to do. But look, they're just so expensive for no reason. You might hate even more on me, but I want the sock runners, the um, the like the the Balenciaga ones that look like a sock that'll be up here. It's a, it calls Men Speed 2.0 Mono Clear Recycle Knit Sneakers in Black. I call them they're just the sock ones. I don't care what you guys say. I still want them, even though all the hype's over. I don't give a fuck. Like they fire. That's all that matters. And they're probably an easy slip on shoe and they look cool. I don't care. Like, put some baggy pants over them. Oh my god. Perfect. It would, like, go so hard. Um, the next thing I want are, um, the, the chunky lace that we're going, so I want some over here. They're just too much money. Almost a thousand dollars. And as you know, I'm, I, like, love that opium shit. Like, I need some Ricks. I almost bought Ricks on eBay. It was like, oh, this close. There, but then I found out they were fake. And I got really mad. But it was not authentic. So, I didn't get them. But I'm still on the lookout to find some on, like, eBay or anything. I keep on looking, but they're so expensive. And, like, the EU size, everyone has, like, a big EU size. Like, they don't have a size 9. Like, no one's a size 9. Like, it just makes no sense. I don't understand. Like, it pisses me off. The next one I want are the same Rick Owens, but with the smaller laces. Because, you know, if you're going to get the chunky, you should get the small ones at the same time, too, right? Might as well have both. I also want the, the high Rick Owens ones, the chunky laces high ones. So I feel like if you get low, you also got to get the high. You know what I mean? You got to be able to mismatch. Like, you got to be able to pull up different styles. You feel me? Different types of shoes. You know what I mean? The shoe and pants combo one of the most important things. 
in fashion in general is like if the pants don't fit on top of the shoe correctly or the shoe doesn't fit the pants it's off it's not a good fit they have to match like they have to flow you know what i mean um the next thing i want is mason mejara's i don't know how to say your shoe i don't know how to fucking pronounce that but i really want those i really want a pair of them they're not too expensive, not as expensive as Rick Owens. It's just, there's, it's hard to find some real pairs. And it's just like, I almost bought some off Farfetch. Really, I was this close. I was just broke at the moment. And this was like last summer, I think. I almost bought them. I was so close. I really wanted to. But I'm definitely going to cop them soon because they're not that expensive. And I would definitely wear the shit out of them. Like, see my black hats? They came like with like the suede off it. But as you guys can tell, I wear them all the time. I got them for like, what did I get them for? Like 300. The next thing I want are the Rick Owens boots. I don't know. They're like the ones with all the laces over it. Um, what are they? They just called Rick. I don't know what they're called. But I'll show you a photo up here. There's like the ones DC the Dawn Warriors. I do not care. I love them. I do not care. Even though they're like ugly as shit to most people. They're one of my personal favorites. I don't know why, but just something about them. They're like perfect. Imagine those with those Spider-Man hands. Mwah. Or the other ones I showed in the beginning of this video. Tell me that that shit would match perfect. And I also go with skinny jeans, but I feel like if baggy would be perfect. Like that it would fit perfect. Like it'd be perfect. Long. But they're over two grand. And I don't know if I want to drop twenty two hundred on a fucking pair of boots. I don't know. That I'm gonna wear a few times. I, owe, I do have loafers, but I also want the Adrian Yellow Stitch loafers. Uh, I did my research on them, and some people don't want it. Was it this one that people said, like, it might be hard, but, like, they're not that comfortable or whatever? I don't care. I still like them. They're fire. They're clean. I love the little tackle thing on it, whatever you call it. What is that called? I don't remember. And I need a pair like those, like, in every day. I, like, I have my Ferragamos and then my Penny loafers. But like I also need like a low key one because these are only 150 bucks. My favorite gong loafers were like 800. They're hella expensive. I'm not gonna wear them all the time. I still wear them. I wear them more than I wear most of my shoes. Like that low key, those shoes might be low key one of the most most pairs of shoes I've worn. Like that's actually crazy to think about because I wanted loafers. My mom brought me to Bloomingdale's. We went shopping and we bought them. I got two pairs, the brown ones and those, and I wear those loafers like any special occasion, hotel I go to, like anywhere, any special event, because they're so fire. Like, you can't tell me, they're such a nice shoe. So yeah, the Adrian loafers, I also want those, because it's like, it would be like a nice day to day, it doesn't really matter if you fuck them up, and they look so cool, tell me how, the, that yellow stitch. sleeve chaos number black sleeve i don't know i don't know how to put them yet but as you guys can tell i love the purple detail on it i, I don't know if you guys seen it yet i'll probably show it i have like this long sleeve that's like i have like a big picture on it let me grab it real quick for you guys matter of fact all right i'm back i just have to pull it inside out but You can't tell me this does not go hard. I need to make another fit with this. The fit I made with it was like, okay, but I know I can do better. And then just look at the detail on the sleeves too. Like, let me open that. Like, look how, look how detailed that is. Like, oh my God, that's beautiful. You can't tell me that's not hard. You can't. And this is hard too. It just plain and it's thermal, so it's thick. You know what I mean? So you can you, don't, you can wear it anywhere. You can even wear it in winter. Because it's like thick and everything. Um, then there's another one I want from it. This is all from Shop Curse. Uh, it's, it's an Instagram brand I came across. And there's another Venom, Ven, Venom Mesh Long Sleeve. As you guys can tell, it's like a nice little like... What is that? I don't know. As you can see, it's like a nice little white design on it. 
I fuck with it. And it's a long, it's like a mesh long sleeve, so it's like the one I have right here. And that one's like, honestly, keeps me pretty warm. And I feel like, I like this one. It's like the same thing as the purple one, but different. And it's different from that. It's like, like a low key one, but it's still hard. You know what I mean? So it can, you should have layer it, it looks so fire. This Inferno leather zip up jacket. I went to DC, was it? It was Snot's concert in DC. The Dom was wearing it. I was like, that shit's so hard. Like, I found it before, then I saw him wearing it. I was like, I have to get that. That shit's so hard. Unfortunately, it's 250 bucks. But you could not tell me this leather jacket is not fire. Like, that shit, and then the, and then it has a cross on the back. You can't tell me that's not fire. You can't. That shit, hella hard. Like, I, you could wear with almost anything. The problem I'm scared of is the quality of the leather. I'm not sure about that. But you know, fuck it, we ball. But I definitely gotta get this. It's just like, I don't have any leather jackets in my collection. And I got nothing like this either. It's like, my closet is a mix of like, all different types of styles as you guys can tell. So I feel like this would really be nice and I feel like I can do a lot with it. Like, there's so many endless opportunities. And then, you know, I want the Ink Lock We Trust shirts. I want them in like basically every color. I don't know why, but they're, you can't, that, they go, I like them. They're cool. I don't, not care. You can't tell me you would not wear that. I, you would wear that. You can't tell me you wouldn't. Like, that thing is so, like, it's perfect. Even though it's overhyped, I don't care. I'm still gonna buy it. Like, I have every single color in this veggie. And then I want their Uzi Tapish. Is this the same? Yeah, and then I want their Uzi tapestry hoodie. It just, it's so hard. Like, like how they made it, it like blends together perfectly. And I have nothing like this either. Like, I have no tapestry in anything. And I need to like, I'm trying to get into it more. People say it's like, oh, punk toes up. I don't care. I'm still gonna get it. It's a hundred bucks. That's not too bad. That's still kind of expensive. But I'm definitely gonna have to pick that up soon. And I just feel like, um, the next thing, <coughs> are these Soaku boots, right? There's some like black boots and other colors. I was watching, I was watching Drew Joyner and I saw them and they're on sale. They were so cheap. Now the three or five, like it like tripled the price. But these boots, like I saw, these boots are like perfect. They're perfect for like rainy, snowy weather, and they're stylish. They're like a nice plain black color. They have other colors. I also want to get the um the beige colorway. Tell me this beige colorway does not look smooth. Like that shit looks beautiful. Like how the different colors come together and it makes that. Look, you can't tell me that does not look good. Like, that would look perfect. It's a masterpiece. Tell me about it. The next thing is this also another sweatshirt from Mohead. This Hero Red Mid sweatshirt. It's $123, but as you guys can tell, it's just a face. It's just red and black. But you can't tell me you would not rock this. Like, this shit is hella hard. I've been saying hella hard. I'm about to make a hella hard counter, I swear to God. Because I felt like I said that shit like 10 times. And I have nothing like this either. Like, I'm trying to get into long sleeves more. I used to hate long sleeves. And I don't need, I need more long sleeves. That's like the only long sleeve I like. So I'm going to try to get this too. Well, low head to be coming clutch. can't tell me these are not hard like you can zip them up and zip them down zip them up to make them flare and zip them down to make them more street lit like you know the 
blue cargo jeans ones. I got those from Zara. And these are... Wait, what? Yo, I just clicked on them and checked it. It's on sale for $10. And they're sold out. What the fuck? Nah. What? Huh? Oh, no, nah, I gotta show you guys this. Actually. What the? Oh. Oh. I'm in awe. Mm -hmm. Oh. I don't know. I'm, uh, I don't, I just don't know what to say. Uh, well, I think on that note, let's end this video. So, there's all, like, the things I want to get in the future. It's, like, on my spreadsheet or whatever, more stuff. Some things weren't popping up, but, yeah. So, that's my spreadsheet so far. I'm going to add a few more things. I'm going to add more things over and over time. I've been slacking on it. But those are some things I really want to buy. And I feel like I could wear them. They were perfect in my closet. <coughs> and I hope you all guys like have like the same style as me. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like finding all these clothes are low-key kind of hard. Like the hoodie and everything. Like it's just constant IG and everything. And then you have to like wait months for it to come in. And you know, you only make so much. But yeah, so... That's gonna conclude the video. I hope you guys like this video and on like new things that I'm eventually gonna pick up and you guys are gonna see in future lip videos. And I love y'all. I appreciate every single one of you. And I hope you guys all have a good night. Broke boy Matt out.